and I'm back, back with another coffee painting. Why? Because I am obsessed with it. It is so aromatic and so much fun giving that I can't even imagine that I will be doing something else right now. So just carrying forward the same uh, coffee effect to the next level, trying to improve myself in the coffee painting skills so i have done two cardinals here these are the two birds um they these birds are found in north and south america and they are the good luck charms or you can say uh it's it's a belief uh, that you know when you see these birds they they tell you that if you had any loved ones who were there in your life they come and show that they are there with you so it's, it's a sign of they exist they're watching over you so that's what they do so it's kind of a good luck charm for us also so as you can see i have shown a misty forest here so you can see the very light background here so to show the depth of dense forest misty effect we do this kind of work we define two layers one is the background and one is the foreground i have just finished this painting so that's why it's little wet so i cannot really touch surface and it's super easy i have done the cardinals directly with my uh, brush and coffee uh, mixture if anyone is not comfortable doing that directly you please draw with a pencil first and if you want me to do that uh, i'll see while doing uh, during the entire process if i am able to draw the birds first so this is all about uh, the paintings description um what i'll be needing today i'll be needing uh, again coffee uh, mixture which is uh, i have kept it to uh, division of uh, mixture one is very um not very watery but still very thick color and uh, another one is super dark okay so two consistencies i have kept not more i will be using one extra supply today which will be a sponge this is my sponge here so i'm going to use this for my background work um as i want a rough texture as you can see that the background has a very nice rough edges to it so i don't want to use a brush here so i'm using a, a sponge here you can use any sponge uh, not necessarily like this you can use any sponge uh, from you know the, those uh, kitchen stuff you get that one part is too spongy just cut a little bit and use it so you don't have to rush to market for this stuff i'm using one single brush for the entire uh, painting and as you can see this these paintings look super glossy you see this is super glossy and that's the lovest and beautiful part for me see my painting is still wet so you can see the the coffee is still uh, flowy and i'm using one uh, paper napkin just to dry my brushes and just in case the hand goes dirty so this is what the supplies we need today and uh, i am using scotch tape also here so you can see i have just uh, taped my uh, sheet on the surface i'm going to take my sponge and the sponge is bit wet okay i've dipped it in water clear water and i'm now going to soak it in the uh, diluted uh, coffee mixture so that it gets the nice light background to it and i'm going to again dip a little bit in water just that my surface doesn't get too dark right and i'm going to just spread this so this looks very dark than the work i have done so i'm going to just take more water and just dilute it more that's the fun of using the sponge sponge can easily you see this i'm just washing it off so that's the color i want and if you want more i'll just do it more so sponge needs to be and now i'm going to just take it off here nicely yeah 
that's the thing now i'm gonna just dip my brush sorry sponge again into the solution little bit as you can see this uh, solution gets thicker and thicker if you keep it for some time so but to be really careful when you're using it i'm just making sure my sponge is working nicely and smoothly so and this coffee solution takes time to dry out so now you see i'm just uh, taking and dabbing my sponge over it this will give a nice texture to my background so just make sure you just remove the bubbles slowly gradually so pop it out and nicely with the background now let it dry and once it gets dry you can use dryer also on uh, for the background effect so you, as you can see this is looking a little rough but having a lot of texture to it that's the uh, background i wanted now let it dry so as you can see the surface is dried now and it has a beautiful texture do you see this all these nice light and dark background that's the effect i want and that's what i was suggesting that uh, you use a sponge for now i'm going to define my background light to dark right so my background is super light so to define like i did in one of the paintings earlier so i'm going to take my brush and i'm using the mixture but i'm diluting it more for the lighter effect so i'm going to start from here one corner i have uh, taken and i'm going to just move here and whatever way you feel you are comfortable making the branches no restrictions here see i'm going to work this is very watery and i'm going to work on this effect only I'm not adding more coffee to my brush no more mixtures and make sure you make it look the branches very what do you call it as very rough and edgy uh, that's the way you define it and always remember when you are making branches the end part you know you leave it as pointed do not keep it thick so from thickness to narrowness that's the logic of making the branches and um, if you do this nice you will always get the perfect result shouldn't be worrying so for us the lockdown has been extended for another uh, 14 days so it's gonna be 30th april so i'm already missing my classes i'm already missing my students and uh, this is for you all i mean to all my students out there the, these work are for you you guys are my motivation so i'm going to just work a little bit more here and you see this is a very light and you see the glossiness here already so that's a beauty that you get glossiness so it gets glossy with the coffee this glossiness is sometimes you miss with watercolors um, very fine quality maybe not um acrylics and the uh, all colors give you this kind of glossiness to the paint work so as you can see i'm just defining it more not dip my brush into the color and this is nice and beautiful and i'll just put more texture to this right so this is the branch part which is the background i have done okay now i'm going to work on the foreground so foreground means the top layer here so this is a background so this will get dullified i'm going to just dry this part also quickly so this part is done now i'm selecting this corner here and i'm going to go here with the branch so my branch will practically move from here go little up and then spread so i'm going to work on the same solution and i'm going to start with the 
thicker base here and slowly you are not in a hurry right so slowly define your work and keep going so i'm just gonna so from thick to narrow i'm gonna just take this again i'm gonna define it a little bit more here and then cutting it down more right like this so this looks like this and now i'm gonna work on the other branches here so i'm just gonna take the extensions out wherever i want the branches okay so it's like when you start loving something doing for the first time you feel excited like a small kid you want to do it again and again and that's what is happening with me i'm kind of super excited using coffee in my work i was thinking what to do what to do so this is the same kind of thing i did it in my class which was more colorful this is like a single color painting we are doing but uh, that one has the um, cardinal colors to it and uh, it was also very lovely work and we did the same misty effect of the dense forest forest so i'm just kind of recreating that same work from my class i hope my students can relate to it and do this so this is my front foreground and i'm going to just define it a bit more and i'm going to add the touches maybe a little bit later and i'm going to define the birds now so i'm taking the brush and if you want i can zoom this part for you how i'm doing it so i'm defining this bird first so first the beak part the head is a little sharp and pointy then the body this part is little curvy more than like this and this part here it comes a little up and the feathers comes like this the first here then the longer feathers are here the longer feathers are here nice and easy and now you join this and in the left spot here and i'm going to just work a little bit more here make it nice and smooth and i'm going to just add some you see this i'm just adding the same shade here no colors because i'm just defining with this same color theme and then I'll just mark this surfaces which are coming branches thing so that it doesn't make it look odd so this is one cardinal of mine and i haven't put any eyes here so <laughs> okay so this is one cardinal here and i'm going to work on the next one I hope it looks like a cardinal only. Looks good. Next. I'm gonna work on the next one here. So, um, I hope now you can see it in here. If you're not comfortable doing directly with the brush, 
I suggest use the pencil first. Now from here, this goes now here. Very light handedly, just handle the shades. The branches has to be moist because this these birds are sitting over this branches, so it should not be transparent in such a way. You know, the, the bird body is transparent. You can't do that. So that kind of mistakes are horrible. So you got to be very careful about it. So I'm gonna just go a little bit more here. The cardinals are done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the same solution and now I'm gonna work. Now my brush has more coffee mixture than earlier because now I have defined the uh, entire uh, painting, right? So I'm just redoing the. So now I have the. So it's like you're layering the. Work done already. The boxes are coming out nice. Um, nice and lovely. You see how this is turning out now? Foreground and the background. Nicely defined. This is always remember foreground background whenever you are showing anything dense uh, misty forest dense forest you gonna divide your work into layers and I'm gonna just keep adding color here. And the aroma is amazing by doing this work. I, you guys can call me crazy. Maybe you feel I'm crazy about it. But that's the fun part. What's the fun of being normal? Enjoy some things. Extremely. Satisfying like this. Now I'm gonna just add more color here. And keep on adding color. Make sure your this work should be darker than what your background is having. So that's why these branches got to have more color. You must be thinking why I'm adding this because the foreground is in in front of you, so that has to be having more clarity than the background, right? And that's how we see things. Things far look faded. Things closer look sharp and clear, and that's the whole logic. So. As I always say, art is not an isolation, isolated subject. I mean, okay.
can always rectify mistakes. Just keep adding, keep something at home constructive and utilizing this lockdown period don't let laziness and boredom taking you over so it's looks nice and beautiful I'll just add some more effect here any kind of trees you can opt for not necessarily you have to follow each and every step I'm doing. That's what uh, art is about. Everyone has their own way of looking at things and doing it. So that's why we have so many artists. Because everyone has their own way of looking at things and defining it. So this looks nice and beautiful. I'm happy and I'm just gonna pop this bubble out. Sure you are taking the bubbles out because then once they get dry they leave that uh, natural uh, emptiness over there so just make sure you take care of that and this is nicely done I'm gonna just sign my sheet it let me try this and then and that's it Ta -da! super neat borders this is what swatch tip does and with this I conclude my today's tutorial thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe to my channel pass it to your friends and colleagues uh, batchmates whosoever you want to share it with pass it on let's paint together Thank you. Bye-bye.